Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a great day because it is Oshinoko Wednesday. Guys, this is my favorite show of the season so far. I think it's my favorite show of the year. When I tell y'all, I have just been listening to the intro and the outro on repeat this whole week. <laughs> It is gonna hurt so badly when this season is over. But we are watching episode 10 today. I think this is either the second to last episode in the season or the third to last episode. Bikomachi is now formed. Um, they're gonna be performing at this festival and I'm nervous for them. Kana actually, I'm pretty sure is gonna become the lead for Bikomachi. She's very self-conscious. She doesn't believe in her talents and abilities, but Girlie is a great singer. I think Ruby and Mem are gonna be trying to give her that lead role in the group. So we'll see if she accepts. Before we get into the video, just so y'all know, there are time reactions over on Patreon. So if you want to see my full reaction to the episode, feel free to check that out. You will need your own copy of the show to sync up with my reaction. And on Patreon, there's also this edited version similar to what's going on YouTube, but it's full opacity, full volume without the watermark. So um, if you want to see that too, that is over on Patreon as well. But Without further ado, everyone, let's watch episode 10 of Oshinoko. Yay! As it should be. <laughs> she doesn't want to do it! Okay, I'm not surprised. Aww. <笑>みんなが曲も行けるって勘違いして全員が大やけどしちゃったあれね。おしっこ漏れちゃうくらい上なかったんだから。関係者全員が忘れたがってるから。2枚目の曲すごく上手になってて。3枚目はそれよりも
正直あるよねピエヨン忙しいだろうに毎日来てくれて優しいなねえやっぱどっちか No, is this actually Aqua? せっかくなんてアクタンと同じ No, it is Aqua お兄ちゃんがあんな昼声出してたら一生笑うお疲れ様 Stop, don't take off your mask Take off your mask, I wanna see If it's really Aqua doing this voice It has to be. Arima chan, Akuta, so Oh no. 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 He's watching her. Okay. Kanojo tachi. Daibu yoku natta n janai kana. Gogo wa bamiri iski de renshu. Asta ni sunai te yukkuri yasumu to iyo. So that's his real voice. Oh my gosh. Boku mo kanojo tachi o kini itte ru kara ne. Tayotte kureru no wa ureshi yo. Kimi ga boku ni narisumashite mo dare mo kizuka. Aku is so good at acting. Yes, and impersonating. わざわざ僕に成り済まさなくても僕が何言っても、きっと反発されるので。ピエヨンさんの言葉なら素直に聞き入れてくれると思いますから。君の言葉でもちゃんと聞いてくれると思うけどね。I <笑>私たちみたいに。スペイナーブラッキング。ライブウィングかもしれないし。どうしてそんなにもポジティブでいられるのか。うん。憧れだから。うん。私は昔ずっと部屋の外に出れない生活してて、ドキドキもワクワクもしないま
by herself? How old was she here? I can't imagine doing all this at her age. Koyakujanaiwatashinikotinantenaiyo. You can do it, girly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's okay to be nervous and scared. She doesn't want to bring them down with her. <笑>ルビーズソースウィート。ほら、着替えの順番。行こう、先輩。お。マイハートユガイズ。I love these characters. <笑> This show is so good. I feel like crying my eyes out for Kano right now. I'm obsessed with this show, you guys. How do I love every single character? <laughs> There's literally not been a character that I have disliked so far. There were just multiple moments in this episode that really pulled at my heartstrings. I think the voice acting for Ruby when she was talking about her previous life, that was what got me. She just, she sounded so soft. And I'm just like so happy that she has this chance to like live out her dream after having such an un unfortunate and short life previously. I think it's really sweet <laughs> how her first crush is literally this like, this old guy. He's not even like that old, but he's like in his 30s, right? He was in his 30s. I know some people are probably gonna think that's weird but honestly like as a kid i feel like it's pretty normal to like have those types of crushes on people who are older than you <laughs> so like i understand her for having a crush on this person who was taking care of her right but she was talking about how sweet it was that he was there and that he was like cheering her on and she hopes that he would like continue to cheer her on and he literally is but as aqua <laughs> I think Aqua, or at least I hope Aqua, would be Ruby's biggest fan. Obviously, I think Aqua cares about Ruby a lot, and also Kana. He asked Pion, Pion? I'm sorry, I don't really know how to pronounce his name. He asked him to help with their training and stuff, which is amazing, uh, dressed up as him. And then in no when Kana found out that it was actually Aqua in that mask, she was like, oh my gosh, was everything he said a lie? So yeah, I'm not exactly sure of his like actual intentions. I think it might be a mixture of like making sure that uh, they're prepared so that the producer doesn't make a fool of himself, but also so that Ruby and Memon kind of are happy. I really hope it's not just solely because he wants the producer to be happy with his decision to like have these girls at this festival. But man, Khan, I'm so happy we got more of Kana's backstory though and like kind of in an in-depth look at her mind. I can't imagine what it would be like to be that young and have all those rejections at such young age. And she's been doing this all by herself since 
what she was like 13 14 maybe even younger since her mom left to go take care of her own parents and i just love how ruby gave her some comfort in the end there and told her that it's okay to like be scared and be nervous and they're just rookies they're rookie idols they don't have to be perfect i don't know i understand the pressure that she's under and feeling like you need to live up to these expectations it can be really hard this is my favorite show right now like genuinely i'm obsessed with this show obsessed with these characters i don't want it to end but okay everyone thank you all so much for watching this episode with me i hope you take care and i will see you next week for episode 11 okay bye